Hello everyone, and welcome back to Val Plays Empyrean. Today, I'm going to show you some of the updates that I've made to the base since last time. As you can see, it's definitely gotten a little taller. Let's go take a look. After we raided the Hyperion, crashed alien ship on the moon, and returned, I've done a few cleanup things. I cleared out this area here, removed those two support pillars uh, to kind of make this that crafting area. We still got to relocate the oxygen tanks, the station, the medical stuff here. We're going to make a medical level. That's probably going to be next. Uh, I'll show you what I've done up above here in just a moment. Explain why that's all pink. Uh, but you can see I moved the uh, growing plots that were here and moved all the power to this little location. Added some more generators just so don't have to worry for some time. And I went ahead and named the ships. So I didn't get too much feedback from uh, the community, which is which is fine. You know, not too many people are watching this, but uh, for those of you that you are, what do you think of these names? For the hover vessel, it's going to be a Val hover vessel, VHV. And where's the name? There you go, the VHV Vigilant. Because it's basically my mobile defense turret turret while I'm mining. So there you go, the VHV Vigilant. Now this is going to be a Val small vessel, a VSV. What's his name? The VSV Cobra. Just like I said, I kind of kind of reminded me of a ship named Cobra from another game. So there you go, that's what I did. And this bad boy here, the new guy, also a small vessel, the VSV Kestrel. A bird that can hover, just like this bad boy. And it was that's the name of the ship I had in my Space Engineers uh, Let's Play, my solo RP Let's Play, the shuttle type, you know, small vessel, as you would say. So I, I reuse that name here. I've got him loaded up quite a bit. Uh, we're going to go to the moon, place our base. we got plenty of oxygen. We give it some power. we got extra charges. We've got lots of different ammo here. we got ammo for its Gatling guns. Sorry. Its rocket launcher. And its rail gun. Just a few. And also bringing some uh, turret ammo for the base I'm going to set up. I'm making some more at the moment, but that's about where we're at there. So, the rest of the base, what have I done? Well, as you know, we went and raided the Hyperion for its uh, growing plots. And let's see what I've done with level 2. Nice and filled in. Yes. Yes, I put a drop in. I'm sure you noticed the hole in the ceiling on the bottom floor. I'll talk about that in a moment. But here, you can see I've got... All these growing plots filled in. We looked at these ones last time. The corn, the coffee, aloe vera. I still got two spots over here for uh, new things that I might find. But the rest of it is for canned vegetables. So we got two whole patches of pumpkins, two three by threes, two patches of space durians, which are basically like uh, peppers, and then uh, tomatoes. So, I really like this level, turned out nice, and I moved up the food processor and all the ingredients up here. We, now we got some space coffee, we take that, that always allows us to sprint a lot. Yeah, leave some here. Got our food processor up here, let's take some food with us, we're going out into space, and yeah, I'll take a couple more, eat one more. Should I take some med kits? Take a couple just in case. Alright, and let me come up and show you guys again. The third level. Nothing has really changed up here. I textured it. Put in the glass. Uh, got our elevator glass in. And our quick drop. To level four. The last level that's going to be the full size. I went ahead and raised another level up. I did the glass a little differently here. I didn't do a bottom sill 
just the top one. And so I put the, the uh, angled glass up in here first, and then big glass all the way to the floor. Because I think I'm going to make this level like a lounge level, or slash garden, indoor garden, you know what I mean? Like, or place where we've got trees and bushes and all that. Right now there's just a few potted plants that can be placed, but uh, you know, I'll put furniture and stuff up here and make it kind of like a rec, a rec level. I think. I could also do a command level, but I think that's going to be up here on the first level where it gets smaller. This is the level where the birds fly. <laughs> Flying through. Hey, birds. There's your jetpack going. So here's the first level we're going to lose. Two corners. Two corner tubes. So nothing here and nothing on that side. We'll do some shape to fill that space, but... Uh, you can see the inside will get a little smaller, but the center will keep having our elevator up and down for different levels, but I wanted a quick drop. Hey birds. We'll call this the bird level. Maybe this is the level I should have as the uh, garden type level. I mean the birds flying through the glass. That makes more sense, doesn't it? And then down below we can have, oh, let's show it. Oh, fail, because I didn't go down straight. I'm still working on it. I, I'm considering putting a whole thing of glass around here, so I have two glass tubes. Um, but I don't want to obstruct it so much. Um, because of that, I kind of have to walk down it a certain way. Uh, but what I was going to say is the level right below could end up being the command center level. And I'll change the glass and make the glass appear like that. Maybe. We'll see. All right, let's try this quick drop. Because if I'm, if I'm really high up in this tower, I don't want to go down one level at a time in this elevator. So we want to be able to get down. And maybe I'll have different levels where I stop at. Lobbies or important levels. Hug the corner. Man, that one... There's one spot that's like making me push off there. It's working pretty good. But of course, when I go to record, you know how it goes. And again, like I said, I could just put some elevator blocks at some of these levels. See, that's what's supposed to happen. When I hit the elevator block, it just stops you. I can keep dropping down. So, you know, I'll work on it. No matter what, I can make it work. I mean, it's just a matter of uh, how, many, how far I want to drop at once. Do I want to have two glass tubes or not full glass tubes? And, you know, what's, what's the big deal if I do or not? Um, kind of look cool, I guess, in the corner. It could be part of a wall. Alright, well, I'm going to finish getting my things ready, and we'll go to the moon and place our base, and get working on what we're going to do the rest of this episode. Alright, everyone. Safely out of the base. And see what we got working so far. It's gonna start looking a whole lot cooler. Trust me. Oh, I got one of those windows messed up. I have to fix that one. I'm glad I figured out how to do uh, switching the windows transparency. That helps a lot with the design effort. But enough chatting. Let's get going. Go up even higher, right towards the sun. There we go. To space we go. Head on over to the moon. We know where we want to be is kind of near the bottom pole. I need to turn off all those uh, retro thrusters so I can coast and go to 7% um, power while we're flying. We'll get there. Do a little later. 
Load up all of our weapons. Moon gun. Alright, I'll see you guys down when I found the site for the for the base. Oh, good. And right over there, it's gonna be by this new diamium. Well, I've almost mined that whole thing out. Eh, it'll keep me close to the Hyperion here. And I can definitely use that and the other crashed ship and the bases to harvest tons and tons of steel. Probably one of the most effective ways. But I like the fact that there's tons and tons of blue crystal over here. So I think we are going to drop. We got those two bases down that way. Huh, it says survival constructor. That's interesting. And then over here, two more bases and then the drone base over there. So yeah, you know, there's not too many bases on here, but this is a good spot where we won't have um, drones coming due to being near a base. Just because we're near this high, uh, new Dimium deposit. But look, there's only 500 ore left. I could take all that right now. But it's hard to see right now, but there is tons of blue crystal around here. It's actually really easy to see at nighttime. So I want to plant my base right around here. And I like this little raised ridge. So I think we're going to do it right over here. Yeah, I like this dark spot. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. Alright, so I can't be on the ridge. There's the Hyperion. Alright, so we'll be in the basin over here. We'll have the wall kind of up to our back. Let's get out of here so where we can't see it. Okay. So drones might come to the Hyperion again, but... Well, actually they shouldn't because I destroyed the core, so... It should be good. There's some blue crystal right there. Yeah, I'm thinking like right over here. Got blue crystal, blue crystal. Like right here, in front of my ship here. Alright, let's turn her off. Put my helmet on. Hop out. Guess I need to get in there. Yeah, this is a good spot. This is a good spot. Use our drone to try and get the best placement. Alright, let's go in here with the blueprints. Uh, library we got completed, lunar base, ready to spawn. Now, I'm not sure if the front or the back is going to be facing me. It looks like it's... Hmm. Can't rotate. I'm going to have to move my person. Alright, there's that. Let's turn. I don't want it long ways like this. I'm not sure which way is the front though, or which way is the back. 
So I may have my front door towards the wall. Yeah, I don't have a flat enough space right there. Well, I better dig in nicely. All right, let's get the drone out. There's the wall. So yeah, it says I can place it. It's not a good spot though. I guess I kind of have to go down here a little. Yeah, let's try right there. Yep, the door's on the back side here. That's okay. Let's go get those turrets active. I also added turrets to the model, because by default there's no turrets. And I got rid of all the armored glass, so it's just regular glass. Oh, I can't find the door. It's dug in here too deep. Oh, that's weak. That's weak. Oh, I can't, uh... Can I not get in my own thing? Destroy it. Oh, okay, it's just not dead yet. There we go, it's hitting the window, apparently. Now I'm hitting that door. What's going on here? It says I'm pointing at it. There, I had to shut it. Oh, that was... Okay, hey, you learn. <laughs> it was breaking this one, too. Alright, I'll fix that stuff. So it's a nice little layout. Structure. Back here we got our power tanks. Some food processing. Ammo tanks. Oh, I left it all in the Kestrel. Of course. More O2 tanks, got a little bit of food over here. So it's a nice little basic base. More tanks. Over here. Oh, be quiet. My cat's over here meowing. I have a cat and a dog. Power is in here. Damage that. Let's take ammo for the turrets. Oh, <laughs> look, it's floating. Yeah, I'll have to use the filler tool and the flattener tool around here. Flatten this a little bit so I can get inside properly. The generator's back here. There we go. Alright. Let's get ammo in here. And start populating some O2 tanks. Alright, I'll finish all this, and we'll be back. Alright everyone, back here on Akua, back at the base. I got uh, the ba lunar base stocked up and all ready. We're just making a few more uh, extra sets of ammo to really get it stocked up, and for the rest of the Rest of the other small vessels as well. Look at that, you can see the pink light down there from the 
<laughs> from the level with all the grow lights. It's kind of interesting effect. I'll have to look at how to stop or, or fix it. I did get this fixed up, this drop here. Got glass enclosed. Um, but since I can only have glass, you know, one block in this block space between the two shafts, I took out the glass from the side of the elevator and put it on the side of the drop shaft. Since in, when you're in the elevator anyway, like right here, this will let you go up and down and, and stop your movement anyway. So I figured the drop shaft needs some more. So hopefully I shouldn't get hurt. There we go. And at each of the levels, if I want, I can put an elevator block like this uh, and it'll stop your fall. So there we go, and then we use the elevator to go up the levels. There's level three, bada bing, level four, bada boom. You know, same thing, and then I can always use the drop shaft, whatever level I'm at, if I want to go all the way down to the bottom, or in this case, level two. Or I could, you know, drop it to the floor. And it's about time to get some harvesting. Harvest an island up here. The food's almost ready. Um, but I think we're going to get prepared and next time I'm going to go and take care of the rest of the bases here on Akua or start working on them anyway. I've taken out all these ones over here. We'll probably take on the fortress next time and then I know we've got the abandoned mine. Uh, abandoned mine. That one's got uh, some rare, rare weapons in it for sure. So we'll definitely want our epic weapons, I mean. So we'll definitely want to go over there. Uh, and we'll see what else is over in this area that we haven't really gone to due to bases kind of being on the sides. I could trek east now if I wanted to, but let's take out the fortress. We'll do that next time. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please leave me some feedback, comments, and I'll see you all next time.